So for years now, I've been a shover, separated my poles from the rest of the tent. And like a shover, I just shove my tent inside a dry sack. And that allows me to squash my tent down really small. And it's great for manipulating the shape. You're just sticking it in the top of your backpack. Makes packing your tent away really quick and it's good for getting it in your rucksack. However, when you want to set your tent up, that's where sometimes I have a few problems. So a few weeks back, I was up in the Peak District trying to set up my tent in some very high winds. The tent had just been shoved inside the dry sack. I didn't know which was the front, which was the back. Guy lines were tangled up and all this loose material meant the tent was just blowing all over the place and it was really difficult to pitch. There was only a really small flat spot for my sleeping pad and with the tent blowing around it was difficult to get the tent pitched in exactly the right position. So the next day, after I'd packed up my tent by just shoving it in the dry sack, I started thinking, is there a better way so I can pitch my tent perfectly <laughs> every time? I wanted something foolproof and easy where the tent wasn't flapping around all over the place. So after lots of trial and error, I think I've finally come up with a way that works perfectly for me anyway so I can get the tent pitched in exactly the right spot without it flapping around and blowing all over the place in the wind. So I thought I'd show you what I've come up with and you let me know whether you've got a better way of pitching a tent. So this particular method might not work for every type of tent and it does take a little bit more preparation. So as you may have noticed, my tent's rolled up and I was always of the opinion that if you rolled your tent, you would put you know, stress points in in the fabric where it was continually rolled in the same place. But rolled up is usually how it comes from the manufacturer and that's how most of them recommend that you actually store your tent. People don't like to fold and roll the tent but they'll quite happily do it with a sleeping pad and there's never any problems with that. And it's not like you're ironing a crease down it like you do on the front of your jeans when you get to my age. So the way I've got this set up now, I know exactly where the back of the tent is, I know exactly where the centre of my inner of the tent is so if I find a nice flat spot I can just roll it over that and guarantee a good pitch every time. So for argument's sake let's say that the perfect flat spot comes down to here. So I can now put the first couple of pegs in on my tent so if it's really windy I've not got everything flapping all over the place. So because the tent's in a nice weighty bundle, the wind's not going to be able to get hold of it. So once the first two pegs are in, I can roll this down. And peg down the other end of the tent. So already you can see that it's in the direction that I want it to be. It's already secure. I know it's not windy today, but you could add some security by getting a little carabiner, clipping it to one of these guy ropes and then to your rucksack. I haven't brought a rucksack with me today though. Clip this on there so it doesn't blow away and that one as well. Once I've got this pitched up, I'll show you how I roll it and that's the important thing really. So when I roll the tent down, I already know that this is the back end of the tent. so. That is the end that I want to pitch into the wind. Get the tent up. Now, just tweak things up a little bit. So another thing is the guy lines, they're all tied up, all quick release, so I just need to pull it out, just a slider. There's no untangling to do. It's 
just done really quickly. So simple. Right, so there's the tent pitched up. It's in line with my flat spot as I wanted. The back is here, so the wind's coming this way. So when I open my door and the storm flap, so everything's protected there. There's no need to move things around. I've had to pull a couple of pegs out just to adjust it a little bit to add some tension. But other than that, it's in the right place. First time and quickly. There's nothing to untangle, it's just a really easy way of getting it set up right every time. But all this was made easy because I had it prepared and rolled up in a certain way. So any time that you can save setting up your tent when it's raining or cold is a bonus. Speaking of cold, <laughs> bobble hats are back out again. Um, there's some of those just gone on the website, which brings me on to today's sponsor, Squarespace. As you know, we've been using Squarespace for a few years now, and it's been absolutely brilliant for helping us to grow our business and the YouTube channel. The website was really easy to set up. We just chose one of the ready-made templates. We added our own photos, add some text, and then just tweak things around till you get that unique look just as you want it. We use our website every day for doing things like sharing videos, processing orders, and adding new products. This week, Joe's added the children's range to the Messner merch. And as fast as we can get these bobble hats in, they go out of stock. But there are features like email notifications where you guys can put in your email address and that way you'll be notified as soon as stock comes back. The Squarespace feature list is pretty endless from things like newsletters to membership areas. So if like me, you wanna have a go at building a website of your own, then click the link in the description or head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Mess and you'll get a totally free trial where you can set everything up, see how it works, and then when you're ready to go live, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. All right, let me show you how I get this rolled up and ready for the next pitch. So normally I'd dry it off the best that I could. Not brought my cloth with me today though. And I'm airing it out as soon as it gets home anyway. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just drop the poles. Everything's guyed out. Imagine if it's really windy. You don't want it blowing and flapping all over the place leaving it all tied out and the guy lines in. I mean, your tent's not gonna end up halfway down the mountain. I'll leave the poles out. More important to get the, the tent away. The poles aren't actually gonna blow anywhere, are they? Take out the side guy lines and tie out. Then I'm gonna tie up the guys so they don't get tangled up on anything. That now is quick release, so I could just pull on that and everything will come out untangled. So this is the back of the tent that when possible, we want it always facing into the wind. I'm gonna tuck these sides over a little bit and come down to the front end of the tent and take out the pegs. So now I've got all the tent this end and it's locked in at that end still, so it's not going anywhere. So the important thing for me to get a good, nice sleep is the inner. So the inner is what needs to be on the flat bit. So I'm gonna fold these in here so I know that the center of the inner is gonna be running straight down the middle. If it's not windy, you can take the two corners out on the opposite end as well. Just makes the folding process a little bit easier. So now, just gonna work my way rolling this up. The tent is still flat to the floor. I'm gonna take one of those in, fold it over as well. Still got one in the end, so the tent's not going anywhere. This may flap a little bit if it was really windy. I 
when I get to the top, you can fold that in a little bit there so all these loose ends are, are tied up. And that now, you could leave that there, it's not going to blow away. Never used to keep these. <laughs> that is the tent ready to go. So now I know that this is the back of the tent. Nothing's tangled up. Um, I can just lay this down and roll it along the flat area that I want. I know that nothing's tangled up. It's just really easy and ready to go. So I've tried this with all of my tents that pitch in and out are together, including the Durston X-Mid, which is um, a little bit more unique because the inner goes at a, an angle to the rest of the tent, but it still works perfectly fine. I'll show you that next time I'm out with it. Get the poles and the pegs packed away. So moving forward, that is how I'm going to be packing and pitching my tents. I do need to experiment to see how that works with an inner pitch first tent. And a bit of a challenge for those of you that don't like putting your mug in front of the camera. I'd like to see how you pitch your tent and what, is, what you find is the best way that gives you a perfect pitch every time.